Are you a broke artist that's too lazy to set up a Kickstarter campaign? Then you should see me. You know how if you're an artist online, most of the time, the only recognition you'll get for your hard work is something like this? Well, now you can turn all of the monetary worthlessness of a thumbs up or a like and turn it into actual money thanks to the new site, C.me. C.me is a social network for artists and people who like to look at the things artists make, but unlike similar sites like DeviantArt, C.me has opened up a tip jar of sorts where people can leave actual money instead of a free like, thumbs up, or kudos. The site's founders insist it's not just another crowdfunding site. Instead, CME's tip jar is used to appreciate the art instead of being there to help it get finished. Although the door for tips being used to fund future projects is still wide open. The tips are tiered, starting at a dollar, seven dollars, or at any amount the artist decides to set. Artists also have the option to solicit recurring payments from admirers. But before you start passing the hat around for your crudely drawn stick figures, you're gonna have to donate some of your own cash first. CME won't let anyone collect donations until they've spent their own money supporting fellow CME artists first. So you could hypothetically support this drawing of Wayne and Garth as skeletons, or this woman who takes brightly colored bunk bed frames and takes pictures of them in the forest, cause you know, art. Online tipping is nothing new, but some services like Flatter have gotten in trouble. Up until last month, Twitter users were able to get paid if others using Flatter favorited your tweet. But problems arose when Twitter noticed Flatter was breaking their API's terms of service, claiming, quote, advertisements cannot resemble or reasonably be confused by users as a tweet. Ads cannot have tweet actions like follow, retweet, favorite, and reply. And since Flatter needed access to Twitter's API to pay out favorited tweets, Flatter flew the coop, so to speak. You guys think sites like C.me are a better alternative to the often polarizing crowdsourcing giants like Kickstarter and Indiegogo? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying if this job goes down the tubes, you will definitely see me on CME trying to make rent with my art. I went to Cartoon College, and now I host a tech show. Art School.